For turn mill applications, there's now a new radial solid cut feature. Begin by selecting the solid that you want to wrap onto, and then the face of the solid. If there are multiple work planes, then you need to choose which work plane to use. But if it's not ambiguous, PowerShape will select the correct work plane automatically. We could then say next. And the face that we're going to wrap onto has now been unwrapped. Together with any wireframe geometry that would come from unwrapping those features that exist on the face, and also some angular markers. These show by default 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360 degrees. Any of those that is not wanted you can simply delete. If you wish you can add a new one. At, for example 125 degrees then press enter and that new marker has been introduced. You can then say next and then go into sketching mode. This uses ordinary power shape wireframe construction techniques so it's very quick and simple to create the geometry that you want to use. So we're going to make some tangent lines to finish this shape off and all we've done is to make a little slot. Now I can simply select the wireframe that I want to use and then say next. You see the wireframe has been wrapped on and all I need to do is to specify the depth and then apply. And there is my new wrapped feature created onto the face.